to find an up node to be a positive integer of two or more digits where the digits are strictly increasing moving left to right. Similarly, to find a down node to be two or more digits where the digits are strictly decreasing. So for example, 258 is an up node. 8620, a down node. And we're asked to find the absolute value of the difference between the number of up nodes and down nodes. So here's kind of the key thing here. So there's two ways to do this. One is you can find the number of up nodes and down nodes explicitly and subtract. But there's another more clever way to do this. The key thing is, let's take 258, like they gave in the problem. This is the up node. Now what happens when we reverse the digits? We get 852. Hmm. What about, let's try another number. Let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 6, right? Now what happens when we reverse it? We get a down node. So it seems like whenever we have an up node, we can always reverse its digits to get a down node. So are the up nodes, number of up nodes and down nodes just equal? Is this just zero? No. Why? Because there are some down nodes that exist that you can't just slip an up node from. For example, 8620, right? This is an example of a down node because when, but not if you flip its digits, we get 0268, which is not an up node because 0268 is not, is not a four digit number. So this doesn't count. And we, just so you know, this is not 268 because we already counted 268 earlier, right? 268 would have its own down node, 862. So this is an example 8620 of a number that is a down node, but when you reverse its digits, it's not an up node. So we can kind of, let me draw like a picture here, right? We have an up node, and then we have some down nodes. But we also have, and then we can have like these, these, we can always like reverse the digits and go from one to another. But we also have these down nodes, which you can't, you can't go to an up node from by reversing the digits. And what is these? So basically we're asked to find these two are equal, right? How many down nodes are in this group? Because that's going to be the difference, right? Because these two groups are equal. So the overall, this minus this is just this. How many down nodes are going to be here? And for example, first of all, what is this group going to be consisting of? Well, clearly you can see it has to end in a zero because if it ends in a zero, then when you flip it, then that doesn't count as an up no, because this is not a four digit up no. So the number of, of down nodes in this group are going to be the number of down nodes that end in a zero. How many down nodes end in a zero? Well, first of all, up no has to have at least two or more digits, first of all. So the key thing in this problem is imagine we just have a giant string of 987654321. In order to construct a down node, we have to <coughs> have some of these digits, right? For example, let's say we just pick nine, four, and one. We would get nine, four, one, zero. So the thing is we always have to go in some order. So it's just a matter of once we pick the three digits or not three, however many digits we have to use, let's say we pick eight, three, and four, right? The order is given, it has to go eight, four, three, zero. There's no other option because it has to be strictly decreasing. So then it just becomes a question of how many ways are there to select some number of digits from this group? And that's just standard, right? It's just two to the nine. You either have a digit or you don't. You either have this digit or you don't have it. You have this or you don't have it. You have it or you don't have it. So two to the nine, but be careful. They even have a trap answer for you here. Two or more digits. And zero itself without any other digits in front, not a down. So we have to have at least one other digit. We're overcounting the possibility where we select none of these and we just have zero. So we subtract one. And this gives us 511, which is the answer. So how do you approach this kind of problem? Well, one way, which I think the way most people did is you can directly count the number of up nodes and down nodes, but this is more slick, right? You realize that they're almost symmetric, except for this one group, which ends in a zero, the down nodes that end in a zero. And to count this, we just have to choose some number of these digits over here and subtract one because we can't have just zero. Hope you enjoyed this video.